this lesson we will use Desmos.com to determine the probability of a sum from a distribution of sums and also determine a percentile. In a recent study, the mean age of tablet users is 28 years. Suppose the standard deviation is 8 years, the sample size is 40. For part A, we're asked what are the mean and standard deviation for the sum of the ages of tablet users? What is the distribution? The mean of the sum of the ages, which we can indicate using mu sub the sum of x, is equal to the sample size times the mean of the original distribution indicated by n times mu sub x, which in our case gives us 40 times 28. And 40 times 28 is equal to 1,120, and the units would be years. Next, the standard deviation for the sum of the ages, which we could indicate using sigma sub the sum of x, is equal to the square root of the sample size times the standard deviation of the original distribution, or the square root of n times sigma sub x, which gives us the square root of 40 times 8. But is equal to 8 square root 40 years. Now, 8 square root 40 does simplify, but there's no need to simplify it. And then we're asked, what is a distribution? We know from the central limit theorem that the distribution of the sums tends to a normal distribution. And because the distribution of sums tends to a normal distribution, we can use the normal CDF function on desmos.com to determine probabilities. For part B, we're asked to find the probability that the sum of the ages is between 1,000 and 1,200. We can indicate this as the probability that the sum of x is greater than 1,000 and less than 1,200. And now let's go to desmos.com, graph the distribution of sums, then determine the probability. Go to desmos.com, click graphing calculator, then click the show keypad button in the lower left hand corner, click functions, click the distributions tab, click normal distribution, and now we enter the mean and standard deviation of the sums which we just found. The mean is 1,120, comma, the standard deviation is 8 square root 40. In cell 1, click the zoom fit button, which is the magnifying glass on the left, and now we have a nice graph of the distribution of the sums. Next, click the find cumulative probability. Notice by default the min is negative infinity and the max is positive infinity, which gives us all the area under the curve. To find the probability that x is between 1,000 and 1,200, we enter 1,000 for the minimum, and we enter 1,200 for the maximum. If we close the keypad, notice how this does shade the area under the curve between 1,000 and 1,200. This area represents the probability we are looking for, which shows at the bottom of cell one to four decimal places we have 0 0.9342, which is equal to 93.42%. For part C, find the probability that the sum of the ages is less than 1,100, which is the probability the sum of x is less than 1,100. So going back to Desmos, because we have the sum of x is less than 1,100, we change the maximum to 1,100. And we need, to, we need to change the minimum back to negative infinity. The easiest way to do this is to clear the minimum value and then click outside the minimum cell. It will return to negative infinity. Looking at the graph, notice how we have the area shaded to the left of 1,100. And the probability is shown at the bottom of cell 1, which to four decimal places is approximately 0.3463. which is equal to 34.63%. Then for part D, we're asked to find the 80th percentile for the sum of the 40 ages round to the tenths. The 80th percentile is the sum that is greater than or equal to 80% of the other sums. If we let k equal the 80th percentile, we can say the probability 
that the sum of x is less than k is equal to 0 0.8. If we model this on the normal distribution, let's say k is approximately here, and therefore the area to the left of k under the curve must be equal to 0 0.8. This is the information we need in order to find the 80th percentile using Desmos.com. So now going back to Desmos, click in cell two, click functions, click the inverse CDF function, click functions again, then click normal distribution. Next we enter the mean and standard deviation again, which is 1,120 for the mean, comma, standard deviation of eight square root 40. Right arrow, right arrow, and now we're going to enter a comma, the area to the left of the 80th percentile, which we know is 0 0.8. Enter, and now we have the 80th percentile at the bottom of cell two. To one decimal place, we have approximately 1,162.6. To check this, let's go back up to cell one and change the maximum to 1,162. Point six, and notice how this does show us the area to the left is equal to approximately 0 0.8, indicating we did find the 80th percentile correctly. So again, K is approximately 1,162.6, which is the 80th percentile. I hope you found this helpful.